now Israel has presented its case at the ICJ and it's a three-parter. I like to call them Hamas, the genocidal intent and Israel's morality. Now to generalize, most of it was Zionist talking points which you will see from basically every single Zionist defender. Hamas. The way it was presented at first was a lot of focus was on Hamas's actions on October the 7th. A lot of this presentation was also an allegation on South Africa being Hamas and being closely associated with Hamas in an effort to discredit them. So we'll disregard that ludicrous allegation and focus on October the 7th. Most of the evidence provided was completely and utterly refuted. You have the beheading of babies and the burning of babies in ovens, you know, that wasn't said in the presentation. You have rape of women at the kibbutz and in the Noah festival while the survivors of the Noah festival massacre are suing the IDF right now and suing Israel right now for basically massacring their own civilians. You have video evidence of survivors of that kibbutz attack who testified there were IDF tanks there who shot at the kibbutz homes. Where you stand, where you stand exactly? We're lying two couples, two men, two women, handcuffed, and inside this this uh, this house were another 15 burned people, among them eight babies. In this corner, they were concentrated them, and they uh, killed them and they burned them. Well, did you see? I evacuated them. But what, why is the destruction then? I'm sorry. What, what, why is the destruction? This destruction it, it looks like a more was like a... a cause of our tanks um, uh, attack. Fired on them. Yeah, yeah. Because they were blocked in these houses, and we need to uh, to conquer back the whole settlement, and okay. it couldn't be happened without the tanks. Okay. So how many were uh, how many were here and then how many survived? Uh, how many did you? No one you survived to... from this house. Uh, from other buildings, we, we rescued many, but from this house, 19 people died, among them, eight children. So basically, you have the idea of massacring their own civilian populace so that they could uh, justify the genocide that is happening right now on Gaza. Second part was the genocidal intent. Most of the presentation's focus in this part was to disprove presentation of South Africa that suggests intent on the part of Israel for the genocide that is happening right now. I guess it's a ludicrous thing. It was a ludicrous part of the presentation. I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos. You have so much evidence of, for example, the most damning evidence is Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling Palestinians Amalek and the children of darkness in a Bible society that, that are literally raised studying the Bible. Amaleks were, among other groups, people genocided by Jewish people, by the Jews, along with women, children, donkeys and oxes, as per the Bible's account. Whether it's historical or not, whether the people believe these truths or not, it's irrelevant. He labeled Palestinians as Amalek. Remember what Amalek did to you, calling them children of darkness. And you had IDF soldiers that were well showing, you know, evidence, damning evidence that they understood what he meant. And that evidence was provided in South Africa's presentation. IDF soldiers dancing and singing that they were going to murder the seed of Amalek. All women, children, men, you know, sense. So these are damning evidences that Israel's intent is genocide along with the fact, the most crucial fact, the Israeli defense minister, he ordered the blocking, the cutting off of the water supply, food supply and electricity from Gaza, which is a recipe for genocide. It is very, very clear that when you are ordering those things, your intending target are the civilian population. They are not the militants, they are not Hamas, are, it is the civilian population of Gaza. Now the third part is, is Israel's morality. The presentation in general was that Israel is doing everything in its power to help the civilian population of Gaza, which is ludicrous. You have so much evidence posted by IDF themselves. You have IDF posting videos 
jesting and mocking and chanting. Oops, the final nutil alechem, it's your boss, yo, haval. Kachalot you man, the same with her. As they bombard and destroy residential blocks with the civilian inside, all the white civilians cry in agony. You have them dancing around and prancing around the destroyed Gaza. And you have the soldiers just swimming in the sea, walking on the now flattened Gaza's beach. You have Gaza flattened and pictures presented to showcase more and more properties and settlements for the Jewish occupiers. It has done everything in its power to destroy Gaza. Now the ICJ has only one verdict to give. If it delays, if it rules in favor of Israel, it will take the forever shameful position in the history of enabling another holocaust. I want you to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos.